everyone this is Abhinin from CG Artist Academy and today I'm gonna show you how to create this motion graphics style I created this effect with the blender dynamic setup and I'm gonna show you how I created I how I set up the simulation part because this is an advanced tutorial I'm not gonna show you how I model all these stuff around here okay only I'm showing you how to create this kind of setup with the dynamic simulation so let's jump into the blender so here is my scene these are the assets I am using okay so this polygon this pillar what I did is I created a single one and I distributed with a special duplicate uh, option okay and I created these boundaries so that my uh, space won't go outside and I did some texturing part shading part before I started the simulation like this polygon if I show you so what i did is selected these faces and applied the emission shader on the selected part and other the other part which is rest i applied the black shader that's why i got this look like you can see on this sphere okay and other than, the, other than that uh, these pillars okay and this is not normal default material with the uh, less roughness on uh, specular okay uh, that's a very basic stuff okay so let's start doing it and you guys if you want this uh, project file you can comment below so if you want definitely I will add the link and I will provide this file to you guys okay so let's get let's start the simulation first first of all what we need to do is select one of the sphere let's select the first one and uh, go to your dynamic tab which is this uh, and apply a rigid body okay yeah it's applied and let's wait around point four and because it's sphere so in the shape in collision tab I'll be using sphere okay that's it first we have set up this then select this one shift select all of your spheres and go to this object a rigid body and copy from active that way the same same settings will be applied on the rest of the spheres okay so that's it for this part okay and for these like ground okay again rigid body instead of active we want it to be passive because we don't want to fall it from here all i want is it should be a collision geometry so yeah that's it uh, let's yeah leave it that way and now select this so for the rest of the collision geometry what I'm gonna do is shift select this select this select this one and select the pillars and this one also go to object rigid body okay I'm not getting that uh, it's not getting let me check object okay it's not giving me the same attribute okay what we need is we need to again apply the rigid bodies to all of them passive again so select rigid body again passive select this body passive and same for this 
rigid body as if rigid body passive okay so one more thing we need to do is when we select whenever, whenever we are applying the rigid body and we need to select the shape to mesh for each and every one so I applied settings on all the passive geometries so let's see how I simul our simulation is getting through right now so yep it's working definitely it's working yep that's pretty much it so a few more things we need to do before we finalize it okay and I must say blender rigid body simulations are really nice and very fast okay so let's go to the first frame and so what I'm going to do is right now I have friction value of 0.5 and bounce of 0 so I'm going to increase my bounce by 0.7 and I'm going to increase my friction value also 0.6 and for this I don't need much friction so let's 0.1 okay because i have simulated it and the values i have like finalized those values i'm using so you are free to uh, use whatever the settings you are you have uh, benefit for your simulation use freely that okay let's simulate this again yeah why i did this because i don't want these face to stick around at the beginning i want them to like push down fastly that's why i reduce the friction values yeah so it's almost there i guess let's simulate completely so it's completely simulated and uh, that's pretty much it it's all almost done next thing i want to do is cache it out so go to your tab go to your scene properties and here these are the cache options and what i need is i need to current cache to bake so i did that so now all all the rigid body simulation of in the scene is cached so I can do the back and forth from the, from my timeline. So it's done almost. Okay. Next thing is uh, I'm just gonna tell you the basic things. I created a top light so that uh, I get the source over here on the top, and I use the HDRI. And uh, let's see how it looks. Okay. Let's see. Yep. it's that simple I, I didn't much I didn't do much complex things over here there's the basic things okay so for these pillars what I did is I just use a basic principal shader and with the roughness of 0.2 okay and for the ground same principal shader and uh, same uh, roughness of Point two here and for this I didn't uh, for the pillars I didn't have any uh, roughness in the spackler okay so that's pretty much it and I hope you find this tutorial helpful it's the short one because I don't want to tell you like it is a very basic more modeling kind of thing so you can do like by on your own so I don't have to tell you how to create the, how to model these and all okay uh, so uh, I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and uh, if you like please share and subscribe my channel and i'll be uploading more tutorials about houdini maya blender and other other stuff so thanks for uh, being here and watching this tutorial and please be safe because of this pandemic situation all over the world take care